Well, I always say I have a book, it's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> the, the task is too daunting. I've, I've lost track of the number of hundreds of boxes of archives I've got. Um, and I'm adding another hundred to them when the ship arrives from New York in a couple of weeks. Um, but no doubt there's all the materials there one would ever need to, to write to an authoritative autobiography. But it's not on the immediate plans. No, I mean, there's a tremendous number of um, invitations and engagements propositions to do this and that, so you can expect to see me uh, out there still advocating around uh, sustainability and justice and peace and gender. <laughs> those have been the big things that uh, have, have motivated me and there's, there's plenty of good. Would you take any special assignment um, with the UN if um, one was offered? Well, I, I kind of feel I've been you know, at the top of the system really. I mean, uh, UNDP administrator, UNDG chair job was always the number two, and then they appointed a deputy secretary chair, so formally it became the number three. But and given the outcome of last year's campaign, that that's as far as you're going to go there. So it would have to be a pretty special sort of assignment to to say that I should um, you know, step step back into the ring again. And there are a lot of other things to do, a lot, a lot of things I've been involved with. Uh, there are a range of initiatives involving governments, heads of government, and you know, I mean, you, you'll be hearing about some of them because I'll pop doing, doing some of those things. But uh, I think I can say I'm not particularly looking for a full-time job.